Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we will discuss another very important interview question. So the question is uh, chocolate distribution problem. So there are multiple variations to this question and we will be discussing two of these variations today. So the first one is uh, given an array. So the each element in the array represents a chocolate packet and the value of that element is the number of chocolates in that packet. So basically we are, we are given uh, um, multiple chocolate packets and the number of chocolates in each packet is different and the value presented that element specifies the number of chocolates present in that packet so basically and um, we are given uh, another number m uh, which is equal to the number of students so basically we want to distribute these packets uh, among m students such that uh, we are only allowed to distribute one packet to each student and so basically the difference in the chocolate of the student who has the biggest packet and the student who has the smallest packet should be minimum. What does that this means? So basically, for example, uh, we are given m is equal to three. So we basically we need to distribute uh, packets among three students. So uh, from the array, we need to find three of those packets such that uh, each student get one packet and the difference between the number of chocolates in packet with maximum chocolates and in packet with minimum chocolate should be minimum. So let's try to understand this with given example. So basically this is our given array and what does this array mean? So, so this array means we are given seven packets. So basically these are the seven packets. So each packet has the these number of chocolates. So the packet number one has seven chocolates. The packet number two has three chocolates. The packet number has three has two chocolates. Packet number four has four chocolates and so on. So we need, uh, and we are given m is equal to three. So basically we have three students and we need to distribute uh, these packets among three students. So we need to pick three packets from these uh, from from these seven packets, such that the difference between the number of chocolates in packets with maximum chocolates and the packet with minimum chocolate should be minimum. For example, let's say we randomly pick three packets. So we pick four, we pick two, and we pick nine. So what is the uh, number of chocolates in the maximum packet so it is 9 and what is the uh, number of chocolates in minimum packet it is 2 so basically and the difference is so difference is 9 minus 2 is 7 so this difference we need to minimize so we need to find 3 such packets from the given array such that this uh, difference is minimum so how to do this so the very first uh, approach we can do is so we can so basically uh, given an array so we have the size of array 7 and we need to create subsets so basically subset and the size of subset will be the equal to number of students so we need to create subsets from the array equal to the number of students so if we create num uh, all the subsets basically all the possible subsets then we can find uh, the maximum the difference between the maximum and minimum from all the subsets and see which is the minimum so uh, like how many subsets we can form from this array so th from this array we can form like many subsets for example 7 comma 3 comma 2 is a subset 7 comma 3 comma 4 is a subset 7 comma 3 comma 9 is a subset then so on like 3 to 4 is a subset 3 to 9 is a subset 9 12 56 is a subset and so on so basically uh, we can like this is exponential so we can uh, find all the subsets of size m from this given array and then what we, what we can do is iterate over all these subsets and find the difference of the maximum and minimum so from this subset what is the difference so 7 minus 2 it is 5 which is smaller than this so this is a possible solution now here 7 minus 3 so 4 so it is also smaller than this so now 7 minus 9 minus 7 2 9 minus 3 basically 3 is the smallest so this is how like we need to proceed so basically uh, find the minimum difference so but Finding the subsets of given size, like it takes exponential time. So we can't uh, go ahead with this solution. We need to find another way using which we can find a better solution. So, so thinking about the solution. So basically, what I am uh, getting from the uh, question is, so we we need to give like we need to give uh, basically to, to minimize this difference to to minimize the maximum difference between the maximum and minimum dif minimum packet. What we can do is we can like give them uh, packets which have nearly equal. Uh, number of chocolates so what if like if we can give all the students uh, nearly equal number of chocolates like which are closer so uh, then we can ensure the difference between the highest and the smallest is minimum and how we can uh, ensure that we are giving them nearly equal number of chocolates so basically we can what we can do is we can sort this 
So if we have a sorted version of this array, basically if we have sorted version of uh, the packets, we can uh, easily find uh, like what which three chocolates we need to give. So now let's sort is sort this array and basically try to solve the question. So basically, uh, when we sort this input array, what what we what we get is basically two, three, four, seven, nine, twelve, fifty six. So this is the sorted version of array, and like uh, and this denotes we have seven packets, and this the packet number zero has two two chocolates, this packet has three chocolates, this packet has four chocolates. So now uh, any number any m for any m, so basically m can be. 2, m can be 3, m can be 4, up to n can be 7. So basically, uh, till the number of uh, chocolate packets. So, uh, given any number of m, what we need to find is uh, those number of uh, uh, elements whose uh, difference between the maximum and minimum is uh, minimum. So basically, let's say, with starting, let's say, uh, we have m is equal to 2, so we need just 2 chocolates. So what we can do is, we can iterate over this array, and basically we can uh, find the difference of the maximum and minimum of all the two basically size, of two size. So basically since this, this is sorted, so we can just uh, go sequentially. So basically first we'll find the difference between these two. So the dif minimum difference is 1. Next we move to these two. So difference is 1. Next we move to this. 7 minus 4, 3. Next we move to this. We have 2. Next we move to this. Then difference. Next we move to this. So n, we can find the minimum difference out of these. So uh, and the minimum difference will be our output. So basically we uh, we can return that because we need to uh, find the minimum difference. So here the minimum difference is 1. Now let's say we have 3. So we will find all the subarrays and calculate the minimum difference. So basically my first subarray will be this. So the minimum difference from maximum minimum is 4 minus 2, that is 2. Next my subarray is 3, this one. So basically 7 minus 3. Next my subarray is this basically. So 5. Next this. Next this. So if I calculate the difference, what I am getting is the minimum difference is 2. So we need to give chocolates like this. So one student gets 2, one, one student gets this packet, one student gets this packet. So difference is 2. So like this way we can easily solve our question by first sorting the input array and then what we can do is we can iterate over the array and basically we can group uh, the elements in size of m and find the difference between the maximum and minimum so this can be easily implemented using a for loop so let's uh, i'm gonna show you how you can implement that for loop easily yeah so basically first i need to sort the input array so basically what i need to do is uh, i can do i can implement any sorting algorithm quick sort more sort which takes n log n time or maybe I can use the inbuilt java function to sort the array. So basically I can use arrays dot sort here and I can pass the input array. So this will sort my input array. Next I, I told you about implementing a for loop using which we can find the minimum difference. So initially my minimum difference will be so what is my minimum difference? It will be integer dot max value. So I am taking the uh, my minimum difference to be the highest possible value of the integer which uh, which can be stored in Java. So basically uh, initially my, I, have, I have initialized my minimum difference and now what I need to do is I need to run a loop basically i is equal to 0 so starting from this and basically I need to go till uh, that element basically if my size is 3 so I need to go till 3 because uh, this is the last subarray. If my size is 4, I need to go till here. Basically because this is my last subarray. I don't need to go here because these two can, elements cannot form a group. Because I need a group of 4. So I need to go from i plus m minus 1 less than n. So this is my condition where I need to stop. And then basically I need to do i plus plus. So what I need to do is basically, I find that uh, basically difference between these. So basically what we can do is we can take a difference variable and find the difference. So basically it will be i plus m minus 1 minus array of i. So why we are doing this? Basically if let, let's say my m is equals to 3. So uh, I am initially at 0. So basically this is my 0 element and what I need to difference is so basically if uh, I need to do the difference of this and this. So this is basically uh, i plus m minus 1. So i is 0, m is 3 minus 1. So basically array of 2 minus 1 because we are a group of this and in the last I will be doing a group of this. So basically this is my difference and I check uh, if my difference is smaller than minimum difference minimum difference then what I'll do is I'll update the minimum difference 
and I just come out of the loop. If it is not, then I just ignore it. So this is how we can easily implement this and in the end what you can do is you can return the minimum difference which was the ask of my original question. So this is how you can easily find, uh, easily solve this structure distribution problem. So this is like very uh, initially thinking uh, in terms of finding all the subsets and then uh, finding that perfect subset which solved the use case was a bit tricky. And but when we uh, sort the array and then uh, use this method to find the uh, basically number of uh, find our the input set uh, find find a solution it becomes easy so in this question what interviewer can do is basically when you are able to solve this question what interviewer interviewer can add is basically he needs to know the what all chocolates you you gave to him so what you can do is you can take two variables basically the start variable and the end variables so in uh, while entering the loop you always update the start and loop, start and uh, and the end variable and whichever is the minimum you keep uh, you update that basically start and low, uh, end. So that's how you can also return the start and low, uh, end and then basically find the value of all the packets using the start and end. Basically your start, uh, basically all the elements from start and end will be your chocolates which are you, which you are giving to the, all the students. So this is how like you can easily solve the extension to this problem also. So uh, in the starting I told you like, uh, so we'll be discussing two sub, two sub, two variations of this problem, the chocolate distribution. So one we just discussed, so the another variation to this uh, chocolate distribution problem is so given an array and each element in the array represents a chocolate of that size so basically we need to distribute chocolates among m students such that so they, now we don't need to dis, uh, distribute a complete packet so what we can do is we can uh, open up the packet and then distribute the chocolates among these students equally so what we need to do is we need to pick uh, maximum number of packets in sequence so basically now we cannot change the sequence of the initial array like we did here. So basically here we, uh, we sorted the input array. So now we can't change the sequence. So we need to pick the packets in sequence. For example, these packets or these packets. So we need to pick the packets in sequence such that the number of chocolates given to each students is equal and maximum. So, so uh, let's think of this question. You can easily solve this question. I have, uh, I have solved such a problem in my previous tutorial. So I, uh, I have created a video using which you can solve this problem easily. Take a minute and pause and think of the solution yourself. So what are the constraints to this question? So first is we need to find a sum array whose sum of whose sum is basically divisible by that number. So since we are uh, we want to give equal number of chocolates to M students. So for example my M is 3. So I need to find a sum array, a contiguous sum array basically which has sum which is divisible by my M and I need to find that maximum sum. So I have already created a video wherein I am I have explained in depth like how you can find the contiguous sum sub maximum sub array. So basically ma maximum sub contiguous sub array. So herein just you need to add one condition. So basically you need to find maximum sum contiguous sub array which is divisible by m. So this is just a slight twist to that solution. So you can find the link to that video here and uh, try to see it completely and understand how you can find the maximum sum contiguous sub array and try to twist make a twist in the solution to include this m so basically to include that uh, you need to find the some maximum sum contiguous sub array which is divisible by that number so using that basically you can take that array which will be divisible by that uh, by m and that will be maximum so you will be able to give maximum number of chocolates to each students and they are equal so this is how you are able to solve two such variations of chocolate distribution problem and these are very important like these are these have been asked multiple times in amazon microsoft so do give it a try like write the code of this solution and try to solve it yourself. So if you have any doubts in any of these variations or you have seen any other variation which you feel you are not able to solve, you can post in the comments. I will be more than happy to help you here. Thank you.